Now that our images are in place, let's add some text. Before we add the text, create a new layer and name it Text. Having a text, images, and a background layer is a good way to organize your document. Now, unlike Word and InDesign, all text is added using text boxes. To create a text box, click the T icon and drag the cursor to draw the box. Then, type in your text. We can change the look of the text using two ways. We can apply fonts, sizes, colors to the text, like we would in Microsoft Word, or we can create character and paragraph styles. Styles are useful in long documents to keep track of your text. To start, let's just change the font and the color. Making sure that the T icon is selected, highlight the text. Select the Verdana font. To make our text bold or italic, click on the second drop-down menu. Not all fonts will have bold and italic options. Change the font size using the drop-down beside the font. We may also change the amount of space in between the lines and the letters, as well as a scale. Set the font size to 36 points for the large words, and 24 points for the small words. Set the letting to 34 points, and make sure that the font is in all caps. With the text still highlighted, click the Swatches tool and select the paper swatch to change the font color. If the color isn't there, we can create a new swatch by clicking one of the existing colors, then clicking New Swatch. Change the swatch color by double-clicking the new swatch and selecting a color. Next, position the text box. Using the Selection Tool cursor, drag the text box to a desired area. Now add the rest of the text. Using the text cursor, create a text box. Copy the text from the notepad file and paste it into the text box. Quickly change the text to the paper swatch while typing black on black. Now, let's use the paragraph and character designers to change the text. Styles in InDesign are similar to styles in Microsoft Word, with a few differences. In the Type menu, select Character Styles. Click Create New Style. Double-click the style to edit it. Modify the settings using the Character Style options, the same options as when we changed the text earlier. When you're done, click OK. To apply our new character style, highlight the text, then select the character style. The character style dialog automatically selects the style the selected text has. Now create another style for the rest of the text. Again, click Type. Character Styles, Create New Style. Double-click the new style and modify your settings. Highlight your text and click your new style. Note that we can also manually change your text using the first method. For example, we can change the word plus to italics manually without creating and modifying your style. Now, we've just created character styles, but we can also create paragraph styles. This is different from Microsoft Word. This means that one piece of text can have two styles applied to it, a character style and a paragraph style. This gives us more flexibility and options for text. In the Type menu, select Paragraph Styles. Create a new paragraph style, just like we created character styles.
Lastly, add a hyperlink to our ad so that it can appear online. Create a text box and type the text we want people to click on. Highlight the text, and from the Type menu, select Hyperlinks and Cross References. Select New Hyperlink, and enter the URL. Apply the first style that we created, but make the font smaller. Lastly, view your document in the preview mode to see what the final outcome will look like.